Mock meat review, is it good or not? Live with Neri and RJ. Do you like chicken? Today we have garden chicken strips versus plain chicken breast, garden crispy chicken versus Sobeys fried chicken, garden crispy fingers versus chicken nuggets. And who's the winner? So today we will have some common questions and answered from our perspective. Why is it called mock meat? Are mock meats healthier than meat? What is mock meat made out of? And what are the negatives of eating mock meat? Tune in to find out. <laughs> All right, so we have three different types of mock meat, okay? So number one, we've got this chicken strips, which the chicken strips are, which one there? Chicken strips are? This. Okay, so that's the mock meat chicken strips, okay? And then we have, this is regular plain, chicken? Yes, plain chicken strips. Okay, so we have chicken strips, we have the crispy fingers, which are? This one here. Okay, that actually looks appetizing. It looks like chicken. Okay, and then this is the, the chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets, my, yes. My favorite. And then we have crispy chicken. Chicken. So that little thing, that almost looks like a nugget. So that's a chicken nugget, I guess, and then that would be, this would be the chicken fingers. Correct, yes. Gotcha. Okay, and then what we did was we went and bought my favorite fried chicken, which is the Sobeys fried chicken. But guess what, guys? Sobeys fried chicken isn't fried. It's actually baked. <laughs> so it's definitely a lot better for you than going to um, Chicken Delight or KFC. KFC. But Neri and I, two summers ago, we went on a, we used to do Saturdays. It'd be fried chicken and the beach. Okay. And if anybody's tuning in, guys, throw in some comments. Throw in some comments. We're going to keep this interactive today. I know everybody's watching some of the uh, Super Bowl stuff that's going on right now, playoffs. But uh, we want to do this mock meat review live because we want you to show our natural expressions. Okay, so first let's go with the appearance. Okay, so let's go with the chicken. What's this one? Chicken this strips? This is garden crispy chicken. Okay, so looking at that versus regular chicken, they both look very boring. <laughs> <laughs> right? They look plain, right? Yeah. But that's what it is, plain yeah. garden chicken. So plain garden chicken, smell like chicken, smells like air fryer. Yeah. How does it smell? This is all air fried, by the way. <laughs> yeah. And the texture, they actually feel almost the same, right? So they actually almost feel the same between mm -hmm. the two. All right. So should we try it? Yes. All right. So which one are you going to go for first? This one. Because you know what this one tastes like. I know what that one gotcha. tastes like. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. I like it. If you were to hand this to me, <laughs> mm, no, no. Okay. This is better. <laughs> okay, I, I didn't taste the actual chicken yet, but eating, Go try the actual chicken. eating the, the, no, yeah. I liked it. It actually had, um, it tasted like it was processed, but the texture was exactly like chicken mm -hmm. and I thought it was chicken. No, no, bite into the chicken. Mm -hmm. Bite into the oh, chicken no, right I'm, now, no. you'll see. It tastes like chicken. No, oh. go bite into okay. the chicken. Right? This does not taste processed. It tastes like <laughs> yeah. I'm eating an actual chicken breast. Mm -hmm. This tastes spongy to me. It tastes like tofu. It doesn't taste like actual tofu because that tofu has its own taste, but it has the texture of tofu where it's kind of like more spongy. This one, I can feel the shreds of chicken in it. Okay. So let me ask you this. Why do you think they call it mock meat? I think they call it mock meat because it's another alternative to meat. Mm -hmm. That's not meat, right? That's it. Mm -hmm. So did you know this as mock meat? Yes. That's what you would call it? You're like, hey, I want to go get a bag of mock meat. That's what you would say? I, I wouldn't call it mock meat. <laughs> I would call it like, you know. <laughs> fake meat? Veg yeah, fake meat, vegetarian chicken. Yeah. Um, so I was calling it fake meat. Fake and then I asked one of our vegan members, what does she eat? that is something that we can review and and this was the stuff and she calls it mock meat i actually called it fake meat and it was almost like i was offending her a little bit she's like just laughed it off right she's like it's not called fake meat it's called mock meat so i think that it should come up with a better name maybe like something a little bit more appetizing versus mock meat because then people are like well why don't i just eat meat like why am i eating fake meat mm -hmm. right yeah Choose i agree else. so in the comments section let's hear what your best name for alternative or mock meat or fake meat would be. So throw that in the comment section. So what about, uh, let's try these chicken nuggets. So I think the chicken nuggets look closer to the chicken fingers. We don't have chicken fingers, but in my opinion, 
chicken fingers, chicken nuggets, they're all the same. It's all the same, yeah. really. And did you know that they actually cut pieces of the chicken breast in shape form of nuggets to create the chicken nugget? No, I didn't. Well, they don't. So See, I knew it. Like he always he always said all always... these things and and I assumed he was playing these games again, but since we weren't live, I wasn't sure. All right, let's go with the chick the 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 Micken. Chicken, Mi chicken. This nugget. is garden chicken, chicken strips. Garden chicken garden strips. Chicken. So mi Miggin. All right, ready? Cheers. It's crispy. Crispy. Thank you to our good friends over at Air Fryer. So the seasoning's different. Something I've never had in a chicken nugget. It tastes normal to me. It doesn't taste uh, like it tastes like like a chicken nugget. So let's try one of these. These are my fan favorites. Chicken nuggets, baby. Mm -hmm. They both taste like mock meat. <laughs> like, is chicken nugget really a meat? Mm -hmm. I know, but this I'm just, is really like, neat, but it's processed meat, right? It's probably... You ever read it in the bag and then they're like, it's only 12% chicken protein? I don't read that part, no. <laughs> no. So, chicken nuggets are basically the bottom of the barrel when it comes to the chicken, right? Like, you buy chicken breast, you buy chicken thighs, you buy chicken wings. And what, out, what happens to the rest of the chicken nugget, the chicken, right? They process it and then they make <laughs> this. Make chicken nuggets. And I'll tell you this. So, I was in a, on a, in a challenge. This was uh, the last challenge we did. And I drop body fat, I drop weight, but I started incorporating this kind of food into my diet because I, as long as I made it fit within my calorie budget, who cared? Who cares? I still drop body fat, I still look good, but the problem was my visceral fat went up. <laughs> <laughs> so not only like does this go into your your like your intestines, but it also goes into your vital organs. So this is probably not the best meat of choice, right? So what do you think? Um, do you think that mock meats are healthier than regular meat? You know, I'm not sure about that. And the reason why I'm not sure is because I know with, okay, I'm assuming mock meat has lots of um, preservatives. Okay. Or, like as I was eating this, the texture was the same as an actual chicken nugget, mm -hmm. but it tasted like there was a lot of salt, like lots of just seasonings, preservatives. Mm -hmm. I haven't looked at the ingredients, but that's what it tasted like to me. So I did. I look. I did an analysis between the mock meat, like a chicken nugget, and then I did an analysis of a regular chicken nugget. Okay. And you know the only difference really is the chicken, like the meat. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. But other than that, they're all pretty much the same. Like they both have sugar. They both have water. They're both enriched wheat flour. They both have soy protein in them. Um, you know this one. So I'm looking at this one. It's got a little bit of different other stuff so like it's more of the fancy ingredients like sea salt right uh rice flour right so a little bit more fillers from all different areas pea protein but it's still got a bunch of ingredients in here that none of us can really pronounce right mm -hmm. and the same thing goes with chicken nuggets so when it comes to is it healthier for you i don't think so i think that they're probably very similar they're they're just a bunch of put together things one has meat one doesn't so it depends on if you think that meat is unhealthy in my opinion i think that and it's true everything in moderation right like if you're eating a 20 ounce steak every day and you're, you're punishing you know a, a, a dish of french fries with a side batter of freaking chicken nuggets that's unhealthy that's you're overdoing it you can overdo water like you mm -hmm. can i know somebody that i don't know personally somebody but i know of somebody in winnipeg who actually drowned because they were drinking too much water oh really yeah because it throws your electrolytes off and everything right and mm -hmm. so you can overdo water you can people have died from doing drinking too much caffeine right so when it comes to like meat i think that it's just a matter of creating that um you know where where is the line where is too much like for me eating this processed stuff i monitor my visceral fat pretty close and if my visceral fat's too high then I'll drop it ever since I found that number to rise. And the only thing I changed was eating these kinds of food. I started limiting them. So it actually went back down to normal. So I think that you have to just consume it in moderation, right? Now, if somebody's making that personal choice, I know somebody that's not like, um, you know, oh, these chickens are not farm raised. And I actually hear that it's harder on the, the ecosystem to create this type of mock meat because of the fact that they need 
more processing plants. They need more field. They, it requires more, um, like it produces more waste to, to, to make this type of meat than regular meat. And so like when it comes to which one is healthier on the environment, they're equal. Now is one being, you know, a plant versus an animal. That's two different things. Right. Mm -hmm. But some people would argue about plants, right? We know some plant lovers and they could say that these plants are being mistreated and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they just need like, you know, water and sun? Right? I think that it goes through a whole process. Right. But, um, know. you know, but plants can't can't squeal. So mm -hmm. I think that they get, uh, you know, they get a little bit of an easier pass. But who knows? So. When it, so is it healthier? I think that they're probably the same. I think it comes down to personal choice. Now, obviously, this is from my perspective. Uh, maybe you have better research out there than I have. I honestly haven't done a ton of research on it. It's not something that I'm super interested in. Uh, but do I think that you have to balance out your meat versus your vegetable intake? 100%, right? So you did that show as to what a plate should look like. Yes. Me, it's For me, it's like a 50-50 blend, right? Like I like to have 50% or 25% my meat, 25% my, my starch, and then 50% some type of vegetable green. That's just how I set my plate up. So, uh, okay, so let's get into the chicken, chicken nugget. The chicken Boom. nugget? Okay. Yeah. It actually came with the sauce. Okay, but let's do it without the sauce first. Okay. So texture, spongy, taste. I think they all just came from the same plant. They just reshaped them because it tastes the same. But I like this better. I like this one better mm. because it's not as seasoned as this one. It tastes like one. a dumpling. It does taste like mm. a dumpling. Mm -hmm. Tempura battered. Sauce. Sweet. Delicious. All right. Let's get into the Sobeys. The best chicken. Mm. Look at it. It looks greasy. When it comes in the box, you're like, oh my God, I got, like, it's so greasy. But it's, I see them make it and they honestly just put it in like an air fryer. It is battered, obviously, so there's probably oil in the batter itself, but overall, I mean, what's there not to love? It's fantastic right there. Mm -hmm. That's a once a week thing for me. So, what do you think the negatives are of eating mock meat? Like, you're a macro counter, so what do you think the downsides are? Um, okay, I don't know about the macros. I haven't actually looked at it. So let me take a look at it first. What do you generally know about mock meat? I think it's pricey. Is oh, it okay. pricey? Yeah. Because if I were to buy the same amount in chicken. That little bag was. How um, much was this? About six bucks. Six dollars for 300 grams. So 300 grams is roughly a chicken breast and a half. There's not much left in here. Mm-hmm. So I think the negatives are definitely definitely priced. So how much would it, how much is like um, a thing of chicken breast, like a, a what is it sold in kilos? Oh, RJ. <laughs> so like a chicken breast, do you buy chicken breast, right? I buy. Okay, so if I were to buy fresh chicken breast, mm -hmm. I can probably get. Okay, so how many recently breasts, I fresh? had six fresh for fourteen dollars. Six fresh. And they were big. They were big. So six times two hundred. That's like 1.2 pounds or just over that. That's 2.2 2 pounds because there's 405 grams, right? So two chicken breasts is a pound roughly, right? So Probably. that's three pounds. Three pounds of chicken for how much? I had it for $14. So, <clears throat> so a pound and a half would be seven bucks. So that would still be that you'd have to buy four of these. So it's so the price, 6, 12, the 18, price worked out $25 versus... Seven dollars to get the same amount kilo. of food. Yeah, so yeah, hundred percent. That's that's crazy expensive, right? Because I'm sure a lot of work went into creating the taste for these. I've heard that with this mock meat and anything that is vegan out there, it actually costs less to produce, but the margins on them are are just so high, right? There's like this whole conspiracy thing, like Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's jumping in on these on the vegan stuff and. You know, they're really trying to push the vegan because of the margins that they have on it. Like how much is a, uh, you know, how much would it cost to, to, to grow a uh, five pounds of spinach versus how much would it cost to grow a five pound chicken? You know what I mean? You got to mm -hmm. feed the chicken, you got to tend to it. You know what I mean? There's like a whole like 
person that you've got to basically take care of. And, um, and uh, so the, mo the margins on it are a lot higher, but yet, so they're charging six bucks for 300 grams, or you can go get a chicken breast for $2, which is double the, so the serving of this. You know what I mean? So if you right. think about that's like, that's 50% more per whatever, per gram or whatever it is, than if you just regularly got the regular meat. So cost for sure. Number two is always carbohydrates, right? Like yes. these things are put together around carbohydrates, whether it be rice flour, whether it be cane sugar, like what I'm reading, uh, soy, like, you know, all these are carbohydrates that a lot of people don't realize that are adding into your system. And now there's nothing wrong with carbohydrates. But again, if you're consuming more carbohydrates than your body requires, then your body is going to convert it and turn it into fat, right? And so when you're eating this, like two, half a pack of this is 39 grams of carbohydrates. So for some people, that could be all the carbohydrates they need in a day. And they're like, this pack is not going to fill them up, right? So they would eat that entire pack. So we don't almost have to like really monitor how much you're consuming. But here's the thing, like for all our workout people, you'd be like, okay, I need to reduce... I would need to reduce the amount of calories that I eat every day just to accommodate my new vegan lifestyle. But it's like, well, if you're working out, especially if you're working out at Fit Club, naturally you're burning like 300 calories in a workout. And then you factor in all the muscle that you're building at the same time. Plus your body continues to burn calories after the workout. Like that's five, 600 calories a day and just workout alone, right? So like you would have to eat this meat just to accommodate that one workout that you did. Now, if you factor in like maybe you have an active job or maybe you go for walks or maybe you walk your dog or maybe you clean your house, like there's just so much other things that you're doing that you're probably on average when, when we, when I do like our clients in the belly burn and how much calories are they burning? Anybody that's working out on the blue, they're burning easily 18, 2000, 2200 calories a day. Right. And that's even if they're do doing a desk job, but they're just working out with those people that are doing virtually, you know, they're generally the ones that are working from home and then they're, they just do the virtual and then they sit all day. They're still burning anywhere from 15 to 1800. So like you just, you would be starving if you just kind of relied on this stuff or you'd have to be ultra wealthy and you have to eat one of these yes. each sitting. So mm -hmm. you're looking at six, 12, $18 because you would have to do three of these a day. That's 20, 20, 20 bucks plus your salad plus your Zevia, right? I agree. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I think that's all we got. We tried everything. <laughs> <laughs> that's our take on the mock meat. Uh, we want to thank everybody for tuning in. Thanks guys for tuning in. Any questions, please let us know. Mm -hmm. See you guys next week. Bye guys. <laughs>